of all the movie cars in this series, this is the one I'm nervous about. Creepy! Stephen King's murderous machine is a 1958 Plymouth Fury from the 1983 film Christine, directed by John Carpenter, who filmed this movie in the same neighborhood that he shot the original Halloween in. They needed more than 20 Plymouths to make this movie. They couldn't find enough Fury, so they also painted and changed interiors of some used Belvedere's and Savoy's to have enough cars for all of these crazy stunts. I mean, these cars got beat up, from knocking in through alleys, to squeezing into even smaller alleys, to being smashed, to being set on fire, to being run over by a bulldozer, and getting completely demolished by sledgehammers and jackknives. Several stunt versions were made with special effects like rubber bumpers and trim to help bend the cars back into shape with ease. The scene where the car restores itself was rigged with hydraulics that crushed the car from within and then was played in reverse, giving the illusion that the car was repairing itself. King loved putting cameos in his movies and Christine made a ton, including Cat's Eyes, The Stand, It, Cujo, Ready Player One, Sharknado 4, and a miniseries called 112263 with James Franco. After finishing shooting it, Stephen King signed the dashboard and his signature bled down the front of the dashboard and Stephen King said, ooh, she remembers me. Thank you for watching and tune in tomorrow for the next movie car and the 31 movie cars of March. I was thinking, I'm glad his first name is Steven and not Joe, because I just don't think the most iconic horse suspense writer in history would have been as successful with the name Joe King.